While I was watching TV, I then noticed that the sky changed to a reddish orange color with dark blue on the bottom. Then as I looked, I saw that there was a white cross that was in the middle of the sky and the seventh trumpet was blown and was heard. That is when I knew that it was the rapture. I ran then to my parents' room and told my mom that the rapture happened and told the rest of my family what was happening. I then began to look down and as I am looking down, I glanced at the earth and all I could see was literal chaos all over the world. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cloud9 Blessings YouTube channel. I hope that you are all having a very blessed day. Thank you so much for joining me here on the channel. The first experience that I will be sharing with you today was emailed in by our dear sister in Christ, Naomi, where she shares with us a dream that God had given her about what will happen on earth after the rapture. It is a very terrifying and intense experience that she had. And in her email, it says, Hello, Amber. My name is Naomi, and God has called me once again, even when I didn't think he would. And God has given me a dream of what will happen on earth after the rapture occurs. And my dream had first started off where I was in my room and I was watching some TV with my curtains opened wide to see the daylight coming to an end. While I was watching TV, I then noticed that the sky changed to a reddish orange color with dark blue on the bottom. Then as I looked I saw that there was a white cross that was in the middle of the sky and the seventh trumpet was blown and was heard. That is when I knew that it was the rapture. I ran then to my parents' room and told my mom that the rapture happened and told the rest of my family what was happening. Then the scene had flashed and we were outside. I then noticed that there were demons everywhere. They were all red and bald and had black horns that were on their heads. If you would run, they would leave you alone, meaning you truly didn't believe in God. But if you stayed, you were then tortured because you truly believed in the Lord Jesus. My family and I stayed and then the scene flashed with noticing that I had huge red scars all over my body. But then it flashed again and I was with a friend when I saw that the devil was coming towards me in human form. My friend and I then ran and we ran back to my house the devil continued to follow us anyway, and he was very angry. So my friend and I then ran up the stairs, but the devil got to him. I then ran into my parents' room, which had a huge window that could open wide for someone to fit in. So I opened it, but then the dream had ended. When I had woke up, it scared me because it was going to happen in real life, but I was glad it wasn't now. I think this dream was telling me of the horrible things that would happen and that many need to come to Christ and repent. God is calling them. Thank you for having the time once again for reading my rapture dream experience, and I hope that more people 
will repent. Bye and may God bless you. From your sister in Christ, Naomi. Thank you so much, Sister Naomi, for sharing this very intense and urgent dream with the channel. I also hope and continue to pray that more people come to Christ now before it is too late. May God bless you. If you can find it in your heart, please help our dear sister in Christ Amber with advancing the Kingdom of God fundraiser. She was led by the Lord to raise money for purchasing Bibles, tracts, and t-shirts sharing the good news of Jesus Christ. She will also be creating Christian care packages. The video that she made regarding the information along with the GoFundMe link will be in the description box of this video. Thank you all so much family and may God bless you all. The rapture dream featured in this video today was emailed in by our dear brother in Christ, RJ, where he shares with us his urgent dream where he was given a glimpse into the rapture and the tribulation. He also shares some very urgent messages he was given from Jesus. And in his email, it says, First and foremost, I'd like to say hi and good morning, Amber. I am a very huge fan of your channel and have been watching your channel since the beginning. God bless you and all of our brothers and sisters in Christ who are all just like myself, eagerly and anxiously awaiting the appearance of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I have been a Christian since I was 12 years old and I've talked to both my mom, dad, and stepdad about the dreams that I have had since then. Since 2019, I have had dreams about the tribulation along with the final battle between good and evil. Fast forward to 2019. I had gone to bed because I was really, really tired after a really long day. In my first dream that I had, I remember walking downtown along a waterfront and it was really warm outside. I remember looking around and people were doing their daily life routines. They were going on walks along the waterfront and cars were driving by as it was about 2.30 in the afternoon. I then remember a random guy who walked up to me and said that my appointment was coming up, but I didn't know what he was talking about at first. So he told me to look down at my phone. So all of a sudden, my alarm on my phone had gone off saying that it was time for my appointment with JC. I then turned around and continued my way walking down the waterfront. Then all of a sudden, the ground started shaking. And as the ground was shaking, I started to see people running all around me. Then suddenly, I could feel my spirit from deep within get a sense of urgency and really, really excited. Then I am looking directly into the sky above and all I see is that the heavens are opening up and I could see Jesus. Jesus was coming on a white horse with flames in their eyes. Suddenly, Jesus looked right at me and said, Come home. It is time, my son. He then sends his angels to me, and I am suddenly caught up in the air with the angels to be joined with the Lord in heaven. I was with the Lord's angels and the rest of God's children, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I then began to look down, and as I am looking down, I glanced at the earth, and all I could see was literal chaos all over the world.
As I looked off into the distance, I then saw a bright star that was coming towards heaven. And as I looked closer, I noticed that it was actually a grown woman. The woman had a very, very beautiful and gorgeous dress. She also had crowns on her head. I had then realized that this was the bride of Christ that I was actually looking at. I then saw Jesus who was looking at me and he said, My time is a lot closer than what you think. Be ready, be looking and be searching for me for the day and the hour of the day of the Lord is near. As he was speaking to me, he looked at me with a sense of urgency and said, Go back and tell my people that I am coming and I am coming very, very, very soon.